So we lived regularly um, from zero to eight, nine years old. My mother decided to join Scientology. Um, we lived in Atlanta, so we had to move to California. Um, moved to Los Angeles, and um, my mother ended up signing a contract to work for them for ever. She signed a billion year contract to work for the company. And um, that's where my mom stayed until she passed. She was there, she was in Scientology for 28 years. And um, at 13, Scientology said that I was a freeloader because I slept there and ate there and I didn't work for them. So they said, I either signed a billion year contract or I had to go. So I chose to leave. I met my father at 16 yeah. years old. Um, the, the man who I thought was my dad, I found out he wasn't my dad at my sister's college graduation. She graduated from Florida State and um, went to the graduation. I hadn't seen my, the guy who I thought was my dad for, God, eight years. Mm -hmm. And I saw him there and you know I was crying, daddy, daddy, you know. And um, he kind of like patted me on my head and he was like, my, you got taller. And I knew he wasn't my dad just because like, I'm like, my dad would not have, that would not have been the response my dad would have given me after not seeing me for eight years. Yeah. So I knew he wasn't my dad. So I didn't say anything to him. Um, I waited till I got back to Los Angeles and I asked my mom, I'm like, okay, who's my dad? Cause that guy's not him. And uh, my mother took out a piece of paper and she wrote down my dad's name and number. She slid it over to me and she was like, this is your dad's name and number. You can." Call him if you like. And I called him up. <laughs> and um, we talked and talked and talked. And like me and my dad were like this after that. Like he was the coolest guy ever. My dad's an artist. Well, he was an artist. He passed away just last May. Um, but yeah, he made sculptures, and he had an art park called Faust Art Park, mm -hmm. um, upstate New York, and um, he was he was an amazing guy. I met Stevie. Uh, he actually stepped on my foot <laughs> out where I was at a party, and he like stepped on my foot. It was crazy because I was at a concert, and he was performing on stage, and I thought to myself, I'm gonna meet that guy. And a week later, he steps on my foot out at a party in LA. And that's how I actually met him. Yeah. And um, we just connected like instantly from that, from then. And we've had an on again, off again relationship for like, what's well, been like 17 years now. Yeah. Yeah. We have a five year old daughter. We're cordial. <laughs> We, we speak, <laughs> you know, he's a good dad to Eva. Um, cheating and cheating and cheating and more cheating. <laughs> it was just, okay, enough is enough. Enough, yes. He wasn't ready to, you know, have that family settle down thing. He was still, you know, running around doing him. <laughs> 